Hey Amy, how you doing? Good, how about you? Good. That's a nice looking balloon, but it kind of looks a little familiar. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, well, is it a helium balloon? What makes you ask that? Oh, just kind of a hunch. Hey, we have more video, more minifigures to talk about. Okay, this pack contains the guy coming out of the birthday cake, or the big cake. Um, now, it's pretty easy to tell that this is him. First of all, um, it's a pretty thick pack, and you can feel that cake. It's fairly definitive, but it can be confused, confused with the flower pot girl. Um, but the cake is different, and the cake also has two definitive tiers. Um, smaller part on the top and a bigger part on the bottom. Um, also, um, you may feel his hair, which is smooth, and um, also he has the little, the little party hat that the uh, birthday party girl had. Okay, and there's the cake, and the hat, and the rest of him. Okay, here's a close-up of the birthday cake guy, or the party celebration cake guy. One thing um, to note is that he's, his legs go inside from the top, not from the bottom, like kind of normal things are. And it's got kind of a plate on the bottom. Um, that way it can still stick on you know, on other bricks like that. And you put him inside. And anyway, so there we go. Show all sides. And you can see how big this cake is. And again, these are the two tiers that we talked about. And his hair and his party hat. All right, here we have the flower pot girl. And well, she's her package isn't as big as the birthday cake guy, which makes sense considering the flower pot isn't as bit as big as the birthday cake. The flower pot, the bottom part is actually hollow and the top is mostly solid with the exception of the two holes for the legs to go through. But yeah, then there's also her helmet, which on the front has the, pe the petals that are around her face and then, you know, attached to it the part that actually goes on top of her head. So. Here it is. Okay, here's the close up of the flower pot girl and unlike the uh the big cake guy, um her legs go in from the bottom. And again, like Amy said, this is hollow, you can you can and you can feel that. All right? And there you can see that big helmet like flower headpiece. And of course this doesn't have really the big the big two tiers like the big cake does. And also the uh, the helmet has this little stem on the end that you might feel, but of course the uh, the petals here on the front are much more distinctive. Okay, this pack contains the rocket guy, that guy right there. Um, again, this one's actually also kind of easy to tell. Um, he doesn't have any accessories except the rocket, uh, and the rocket just goes over his body, and you can kind of. Uh, feel the big cylindrical piece, and the big thing is you can feel the uh, the point of of the rocket, and the sides of the cylinder are hollow, um, you know, so that his arms stick out. So again, it's not a real thick pack, but again, when you when you feel it, when you find that rocket, you'll you'll definitely know um, that that's it, especially because of the point uh, at the top. There it is. Okay, here's a close-up of the uh, rocket guy, and again, um, 
The only piece other than the figure itself is again this this rocket. And it just goes right over him. And again, you can see the cutouts on the side for, for his arms, and those are easy to feel as well. So this one's not too difficult to tell. All right, here's the cactus girl. And, well, when feeling it, she's kind of similar to the rocket guy with her cactus top that kind of goes over her. Although, of course, her cactus doesn't have the pointed top like the rocket guy does. You can also feel kind of bumps on her cactus that are the thorns. And you may also, if you feel her torso, you may feel her arms aren't normal minifigure arms. Okay, close up of the cactus girl, and again, um, her cactus is similar to the rocket, but like Amy said, doesn't have the uh, the top or the pointed top. Um, but again, it's got the hollow sides, and you can also feel these little bumps through the pack. And you may also feel uh, her arms, which are, like Amy said, not the normal minifigure arms; they're little cactus arms. Okay, this pack contains the uh, the race car guy, and of course he has a race car. Now the race car, um, it, it's it's again also a big piece, and you can definitely you know when you when you have the pack and you feel it a little bit, you can definitely you can definitely feel it, and you can feel the windshield um, as well as kind of the rear window um, in the pack. You may also feel I think it's um, like a little gas tank cap, but there's a one one by one. Uh, tile that half it is round and half it's square and you can feel that um, also he has a helmet and a visor and the car has wheels so you can you also may feel the uh, two sets of wheels kind of feel like uh, like a dumbbell so that's how you know that it's the race car guy okay whoop, there's the wheel going away and there's the car which was on the uh, on the plate there and see there's the uh, windshield and the rear window and, and you can you can definitely feel that okay here's a close-up of the uh, the race car guy and remember he has the helmet and the visor and see there's the car again with the wheels that I snapped on there and the car is again just sits between his legs and the torso and if you notice back there I snapped it on but see there's this little one by one uh, tile and see little gas cap cover and see half it's square and the other half is rounded off and you can feel that but again the most prominent thing is this little race car <laughs> 